Hey everybody, it's here. It's the last week of August. We've been talking about wisdom all month long. Now, wisdom is knowing the right thing to do and then doing it. We've been talking about how you can trust that God will give you wisdom, how you need to stop, think, and then act because wise people see something coming and run away from things that are dangerous. And foolish people, they keep going without thinking and get hurt. We've also talked about how you need to hang out with wise people because the people that you hang out with help shape you. So if you're hanging out with wise people, you hear wise advice and you become more wise. But if you're hanging out with people who give you bad advice, then you could get hurt. And this week is my favorite week. We're talking about how wisdom can transform you. And this week, our bottom line is never stop growing in wisdom. And now if we're never stop growing in wisdom, that means we are transforming. Now, a little piece of paper, like this piece of paper, has been molded and pressed to be as flat as possible. And it is perfect for being a piece of paper to draw on, like maybe how I drew on it last week to be part of our class exercise. But it's not always the best for getting into a target. I have a target here and I'm going to try and throw my piece of paper into the target. That didn't work. All right, let me try a different one. I have another piece of paper here. It's me. And I'm going to try and throw this into the target. It's, it's perfect. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. It's a nice, flat piece of paper. And let's go. Did not happen. Maybe do a couple of those really fast. All right, so that's not working. I need to transform this piece of paper so that it hits the target, so that it hits the mark. The way it was made, the way it was designed is perfect for one thing, but not perfect when it needs to do something new. So I need to transform it. Oh, I know. I'm gonna make it into a paper airplane. I'm gonna transform this piece of paper from something flat to something a little bit more aerodynamic, and then maybe it will do the job I need it to do. See, we are like a piece of paper in life. We were made and we were made awesome. And we need to keep growing in wisdom. We need to keep transforming, just like my new super cool aerodynamic paper jet, which will help me. <laughs> if you mind. Which will help me hit the target every time. If I keep transforming and learning and growing, then I'll keep hitting the mark. And I am not a piece of paper. I am not an airplane. So what does that mean for me in my life? Well, me transforming and keeping growing in wisdom is learning to become a better soccer player, learning to become a more diligent student, learning how to organize my backpack so I don't lose my homework, so I can maybe come home and have a schedule of things that I know that I do. I can play video games for 10 to 15 minutes and have a snack after school, and then I get my homework done right away. So the rest of the evening after dinner is just time that I can hang out. Those are personal decisions that help transform my life so I can learn to become more diligent, so I can learn and grow in wisdom. And as we do that, we keep transforming into who God wants us to be. We start one way, and through just growing up, we change. And that change, as we keep learning and growing in wisdom, helps us achieve who God wants us to be. 
because we never stop growing and we'll never stop needing more and more wisdom. So keep asking God for wisdom. Keep thinking and stopping and thinking some more and then acting. Keep hanging out with people who give you wise advice and never stop growing in wisdom so you can be transformed into who God wants you to be. One of the things that I learned is I needed to get my homework done right away. So I would come home and I would watch 30 minutes of cartoons after school. And then I would race and get all my homework done for the rest of the night so that I could read the books I wanted to read or I could run around outside with my dog or jump on the trampoline. And I would have all my homework done so that I would be a good student, so my teacher wouldn't have to worry about my grades, and so I would know all the material I needed to know for the test that was gonna happen next week. That was one way that I transformed into being a little bit of who God wanted me to be. It's a real world example about when Becca was 10. And I know you can do it too. Not just about school, but you can become the person that God wants you to be by just being closer to him. I love you. God loves you. I'll see you next week.